um, <laughs> in uh, conclusion, it is life itself which is the main cause of subluxation, so it's these stresses in life. Okay. So think about life, um, and you know there is there's good things you can do. Okay, you can you can visualize positive mental affirmations. Um, you know meditation, that's fantastic. But just kind of understand those positive things aren't going to take away the negative things. The negative things are still going to leave an accumulation in the background, the negative thoughts. And from a nutritional point of view, if you can understand this, maybe this is the equivalent of eating McDonald's for breakfast and then having an amazingly balanced, healthy meal in the evening. You know one's going to be really good for you, but and it, by that it's not going to completely eliminate the effects at that um, not-so-fantastic meal. So there's still a, a, a background sort of uh, damage and accumulation taking place. And just like with the movements that we do, um, we can do Tai Chi, yoga, or all the other good things in our body to, to keep it functioning and moving well, but it's not going to completely uh, uh, you know, wipe out the negative effects of the negative movements. So you, all those in the background are, are constantly accumulating. But, but the beauty thing, the beautiful thing about the human body, it's got this thing that we, uh, we alluded to at the very beginning. It's got this innate intelligence. And that's what's working constantly, continuously, to repair that background degradation. Okay? You see, the innate intelligence is only as good as the communication system through which it's expressed. So what is that communication system? So therefore, the key thing is that, I mean, you can eat good food, you can choose to exercise, you can choose to have positive mental affirmations, but the one thing you don't have control over is, is that nerve system, and that's kind of, of course where we come into. That's what we're trying to deal with, so your innate intelligence can express itself to its full, so your body can heal itself to its best potential as well. So this is all nice and theory, but having a look, how how does that apply to everyday life? And one way you can look at it is having a look at these things here: the three main causes of death in the developed world. So anyone want to make a guess or anyone know what number one cause of death would be? Hmm? Close, close to number one. Yeah. Actually, the C word. Cancer. Yeah, so number one is cancer. So what causes cancer? Well, no one knows, but the, the latest theories are that it's basically things in the environment. So we're looking at toxins. We're looking at the stresses. We're looking at things in the things we eat. We're looking at chemicals. Okay, Because... Genetically, we haven't changed at all, but for some reason, we're getting more and more cancers happening. In fact, medical people are saying now that 90% of long-term chronic illnesses are in fact caused by things that you can change. So there are things like the way you eat, the way you exercise, all of those things can be changed. Okay. So one of the big things is cancer. Next one you're talking about, heart disease. Okay. So these days, one in three is female. A few years ago, no females had heart disease, or was it purely a male thing? So what's changed over the last few years, the last few decades, that females are now getting a disease which is a male disease? What are we doing? Drinking? <laughs> One of the things, yep, exactly. So you look at all the things that we're doing, we are working like men do. Okay, so we're no longer in the homes, we're out there working, we're out there drinking, we're out there doing all the things men do, we're out there stressing, okay? So, and suddenly we're getting heart disease as well as the men, okay? And the other thing, which you probably won't guess, is number three is medical misadventure. So these are things that happen to you while you're in the hospital, while you're at the doctors getting treated for other things. Okay? And this is exactly why the reason why you want to keep your body healthy, so you don't have to wait till the end of the line and have to resort to this. So, what's our approach? Our approach is making sure that our bodies are checked weekly by a chiropractor, making sure your nervous system is working at full potential at all time. Now, I know a lot of you are being seen more than weekly, okay, and that's when we start off, you have those years and years of accumulation of damage in your spine, okay, and then most of us are 20, 30, 40 more years and that too late for your first adjustment, okay, and so we need to see you more regularly to start off with, but ideally, we need to see you weekly, and we always give you those recommendations depending on what sort of stresses you have in your life, what sort of lifestyle you have, those sorts of things that you're up against. Okay. And the reason why we do this is because we know that your body was designed to be well. You're never designed to be sick. You're never designed to be unhealthy. Your innate intelligence works well. Your body should work well. Okay. And so do we, how do we know that nervous system is working well? Well, let's see. 
how do you how how do you know whether you, um how do you get your eyes checked? Well, who do you go to to get your eyes checked? To see if they're working well. Yeah, exactly. Um, what about if you want to get strong, you want to get fit? Who do you go to? Gym. Gym. Yep. Go to personal trainer, someone like that. Yep. What about when you want to know what sort of foods to eat? What sort of diet? Nutritious, exactly. So who do you go to when you want to make sure your nervous system is working well and functioning at its optimal? Exactly. Okay. Because it doesn't matter if you're eating all the right food because your digestive system won't absorb it properly. It doesn't matter if you're working out because your muscles won't contract properly if the nervous system's not responding well to them. You see, nothing else will work properly unless that nervous system is functioning at its best. Good example, I don't know if you guys have met Ida, she's a, a little bright spark that comes to the office once a week and she's been doing that for the last uh, six to eight years, it's getting a little bit hazy now, but um, Ida was one of those people like I think a few of you guys were at the Glenfield Mall, the local mall, and we were just doing a free spine check, uh, it, was, it was interesting because she didn't want to get a spine check, it was her friend that was kind of, you know, pulling her along to us and she came in and just very very reluctant but she got her posture checked and we decided that, um, after discussing with her the possibility of getting a spine check she came in and in the case history at this point in time she was a 49 years of age uh, Pacific Island Samoan lady um, uh, she the sort of work she did was very repetitive and very manual like uh, packing boxes all day moving boxes lots of books into, into big boxes so it's very condensed heavy work and she did that for about six days a week and, and long hours um, she had back pain to about uh, to the degree that she was suicidal. She had that chronically in her, in her body for about 24 years. So huge amount of stress on her, huge amount of stress on her family. Um, you know, the, the neck pain, the mid-back pain, those were at other important things. But the, what kind of got me as well was that she had to sleep sitting up with eight pillows. So she slept with the pillows behind her and on her knees. So she slept folded up, sitting up, basically, because when she lay backwards, her airways would close off because of the degree of the asthma she was suffering. Uh, one, I think it was one every, once every four or five days with a, it was a normal bowel movement for her. Um, she was depressed. kind of understand why. Um, uh, on the other side of things, she also had another condition in her health, which is very debilitating to her overall longevity on this planet, was type 2 diabetes. And that, of course, means that um, you have this frequency of going to the toilet at a time. She's at night trying to sleep with these pillows, and you know, if you can see what's happening there, she's kind of cycling down in her health, and, and yeah, it wasn't very happy at all. Um, so she, she, we, we x rayed her, and we looked inside, and we could see that the, there was a correlation between her subluxations and her health. We could see she was very strongly subluxated. What you're seeing here is a front on x ray of her pelvis. The blue line is that central position where a spine should be, and that if you can see where the red line distorts, we could see there's a lot of rotation, a lot of shifting, a lot of subluxation of the spine, and that area down there, you know, a lot of the nerves go to the digestive system and so forth, so we could see how that was all related. So she started here, um, and, and something, I'm not saying that we're going to, we adjusted her once, and she, she jumped up and said, this is a miracle. It was a slow, relatively painful process for, for her, um, and with, over a period of time, she started getting some health back. So, in the end of the first 12 months, this is what she was reporting. Her asthma was gone completely. She did, she's no longer an asthmatic. She threw away her inhaler. She's never used it. Um, she she now sleeps with one pillow, just like anyone else. Has a bowel movement on a regular basis. Um, significant pains are gone. She still gets achy every now and then from the amount of degree of hard work she has to do in her job. But you know, she is kind of somewhat getting on, on getting on a bit. And um, it is a very hard job. I'd probably pass out in a half a day's work there. Um, she now could exercise because of the pain freeness, and because of that, she lost you know, 20 kilos and she's lost more. Um, and that, of course, is going to be a huge improvement in her type 2 diabetes and managing that. Um, just recently, she, she um, ran around the bays and did one of her best, personal best times. Her children are under care now. She did a video testimonial for us as well, which is quite an emotional one, which is on our uh, website if you ever want to kind of that which is really cool but um, uh, beyond that um, we x-rayed her and looked inside and we could see a lovely rebalancing so we could see the structure and function and health all kind of linked together as her body rebalanced inside so did her health on the outside um, improve so you know in this respect I like to, I love this picture you know God um, life 
it's it's the you know it's it's important, and our our goal here is um, to guard it and promote it, and protect it. So um, again, this is chiropractic 101 workshop fundamentals. Like now you kind of know the why and you know what we're tapping into. We're tapping to that intelligence you already have hardwired inside yourself, and that's the beauty of it. No matter what condition you come in with. We are doing the same thing, it's just that your body is the best doctor. If we can release the potential you already have, uh, it'll do a great job <laughs> to look after itself because it's there with you 24-7, right?